to believe that. I watched the other monster get completely engulfed in flames, like the slime actually used magic. In your dreams, Gale! There's no way. No slime could use magic to do anything like that. <laughs> yeah, right. I bet you dozed off with your campfire going. <laughs> For sure. And then I bet that monster of yours just stumbled right into it. Mystery solved! <laughs> Fine! Laugh all you want! Giving up on your request? Everyone has to sometimes. Don't fret too much over it. Actually, I'm not here to give up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah! <gasps> One thing just led to another, and I finished a bit early. seen that many Dryer flowers? The guy's just a tamer, right? <gasps> you again, huh, Yuji? Ages. That's enough for two years. You're not exactly a run-of-the-mill tamer, are you? I'd rather not make an ordeal out of this. Did I bring in too much? No, I'm willing to buy the whole load from you. Not that anybody has much of a use for potions around this place. No? That surprises me. I went up against a pretty tough monster out there. What? Chief! We've got trouble! What's wrong? <laughs> signals! Smoke signals have gone up in the woods! You guys copy? Loud and clear! Anyone have eyes on any monsters? It's bad! We've had reports of monsters in the woods! <gasps> Lots of them! Headed somewhere. Any idea where? What do you guys think? No clue. They're looking towards the sun. So they're going the opposite way here. Should we follow them? Hmm. They sort of seem like they're trying to congregate somewhere. Probably not good, huh? Ridiculous. Where could ten thousand monsters be headed? Judging by their positioning. Right now, a huge army of monsters is rapidly descending upon us here. They'll be clawing at the walls of Bastion in less than an hour. Oh, God. Listen to me, all of you. Gather your gear and leave town. We can't leave. What about all the other people who live here? Do you really expect us to run away and save ourselves? With an army of 10,000 monsters on its way? If we abandon them, there's no way the folks here would survive. That's right. So we're staying put and protecting these people. If there was any hope at all, then I'd say we stay here and protect the town. But I'm afraid there are just too many of them. The only realistic option we have now is to keep as many of you alive as we can. Is this really the only way? I have an idea. But Yuji... Kid, you're brave, but... You're just a tamer. Oh. What the? Slimes have bones? It's dragon bone. A dragon? See, us tamers have a special little trick. I can only do it once. But I can use this bone to recreate a dragon's flame. And use that to wipe the monsters out. You can do that? You know, that could actually work. Yuji, I'm well aware that you're not just an ordinary tamer, but this. I've never heard of anything like this before. Recreating Dragon's Breath? <sighs> that slime I saw. Let him have a go, Aegis. After all, what other choice do we have? <sighs> now tell us what we can do to help you. This is for you. 
too. It's a potion made from the dry flowers. Gotta admit, I never imagined we'd need them quite so soon. Hurry up! The first wave of monsters will reach us at any moment. We need to keep them outside the gate. Bring every last weapon you've got! Yeah! Proud Wolf, what's the situation? Well, I'm doing my best to get all these little slimes back in one blob! We're basing back! Sure are kicking the scenic route, though! I mean, don't misunderstand me. I ain't looking to fight, okay? <laughs> Thank you kindly, Yuji! Feeling pepped as ever! Lucky! Hey, what about us, Yuji? You guys are just along for the ride.
be? Well, I, uh... Slimes, I want some of you to head in and help Gail's team. Roger! You got it! If you say so! <laughs> Fire up 
anyone with enemy tracking abilities. No questions asked. Having someone in the party with those skills drops the death rate by 80%. Your skills will be greatly appreciated. There. Now you're all registered. Thank you. Now that you're in, would you like to take on a guild request? So you the guy looking for a party or what? Rodus, dagger expert. I'm Tina, our archer. And I'm Lisa, the party's lancer. <laughs> Haven't seen you around here. I'm new. Name's Yuji, and this will be my first party. I'm a tamer. A what? A tamer? Do you even know what to do if we end up in a fight? I'm not looking for any extra baggage. Yeah, I figured that's how it might be. You're a tamer, but you're good with tracking, right? We're only headed out there to investigate, so we'd be better off avoiding monsters than fighting our way through them. Anyway, if I were really gonna complain about anyone here, it would be Rodus. Huh? We haven't heard much good about you. Yeah, I heard that the last time you took a team outside, they ran <laughs> off and went missing. Hey, I can't help the rumors people spread. Does this mean you're kicking me out? I mean... If we did, it would be your fault. Oh, come on. Don't give me that. It's the same everywhere. Fine. If you let Yuji join, then, maybe we'll let you stay in the party as well. Sound good? Sounds great! <sighs> okay, let's go over our request. We're headed out to find where the Earth Dragon is hiding. We don't have to fight it, but it is a powerful creature. So let's all stay alert. Rodus will take the lead. I'll take the middle. And you'll hold up the rear, okay, Lisa? Mm-hmm. And what about me? You just stay focused on detecting any nearby enemies. Seems there's no need for me to fight. Proud Wolf, what's the situation? Nothing to report. We have every rock and tree under watch. Just leave all those big bad monsters to us. Yuji, are we gonna beat them up if we find any? No, stand down for now. Wait, really? We ought to just take them down. Just keep your eyes peeled. Copy that. Um. Yuji, we've got contact. Five wolf-like monsters looking two kilometers straight ahead of us. Huh? Two kilometers ahead? That's a pretty long distance. Your tracking skills work that far away? Trust me on this. <laughs> Trust you, huh? Let's go see if we should. No, wait! <laughs> Two kilometers up. Nice. Well, you were right. But I only see four here. Look up. My turn. Tracking stuff. It's not an easy skill. 
Did you just find someone who would teach it to you? Actually, I, uh... One day, I just realized I could do it. What? You didn't have a teacher or anything? You didn't learn it from some master tracker? Nope. And you're not hiding anything? Come on, tell us the truth. How do I explain it? <sighs> All right, uh -uh. it's time we get some rest. <sighs> it's getting pretty late. Tina's first watch, then me. Then Yuji can go. At least it can take last, okay? Why that order? The people who take second and third watch get hit harder, because their sleep schedule gets split. So we'll take the hit. You're not really a fighter, and I can handle it the best. Rodus is more chivalrous than I expected. Makes sense. I won't complain. Night-night! Everyone sleep well! <laughs> Where am I? I was just at the office working overtime. Sheesh, must be the screen. I stared at it for too long. Skills? Type? HP? Are these game stats? Tamers. They control monsters. Funny, my monster company controls me. Huh? That sure feels strange. Slime? So this thing is my ally now? Uh, huh?
Monster stealth. Looks like that one works.
I'd rather not have people depend on me. You really don't like to share very much about yourself, do you? Not particularly. That's perfectly okay with us. Mm-hmm. To each their own, you know. <clears throat> now, what about that request we took? I'm not really sure, and I guess we should probably head back to town now that we lost one of our fighters. Wait. If we use my slimes to scout, we can probably avoid encounters. Really? You wouldn't mind? Not at all. It's fine. These two seem trustworthy. <sighs> the journey continues then. Yeah, but let's get some rest first. And we're gonna have to find a new spot to camp. going. Coming up! Next, we need tents. Got it! As you wish! Ah! Is three enough? Spread them out a bit more. Can do! Put out our leftover food, too. Okay! Proud Wolf, you and I will take turns on guard. Roger that! There, all set. from beneath the blue moon. The blue moon of salvation say, beware of the disasters that will befall you when the moon itself turns blue. The blue moon of salvation. They must have been behind the attack on Vastin. But what calamity was he talking about? signs of the earth dragon well even if they haven't yet i'm sure that team of yours will find it eventually definitely after the way they took down those bandits i bet they casting is high level magic and typically weakens the spells you're using i think i see i appreciate you giving me instruction would it be all right if i tried it again silent guess that's what was unusual about it must have been too weak because i didn't say the incantation fireball Can I ask something? I better start searching for a weaker spell. This should do it. A spell to limit my magic output. Might as well test it out. Spell transfer, rock shot. Got him! Spell transfer, water cannon. Transfer, wind slicer. Our best Spell transfer, ember. Another one ready to go. Guess even weaker magic comes in handy. Hey. Hmm? Do you feel like something's off here? <laughs> what do you mean? There should be more monsters around here. I mean, you can never just walk through this forest untouched like this. Well, my slimes have been taking care of any monsters they find. Uh -huh. All alone? How strong are those slimes if they can take down the creatures out here all by themselves? Guess I went a little overboard again. <sighs> Please don't tell me. Your slimes did this? This wasn't them. They don't have that kind of power. The sky's dark. Why is that? Mother style. Yuji! Find something. 
There's no sign of any monsters, but something sure feels seriously weird. Yeah, this is all just really creepy. Do you know what all of this could well mean? We'll go take a look. Be careful. Tell me, Branch Chief Rayard, are you aware of the things which that blue moon you see foretells? I'm afraid not. Calamity comes beneath the blue moon. Such has been said since long ago. Do you mean to say we face coming disaster? What is this tome? This is a book of ancient legends.
stronger now. Rather not make too much of a scene, though. Spell transfer, rock shot. What does it say about it? 
The dragon previously appeared and grew under darkened skies. It claims that within three days, it had such power that it wiped out an entire continent. All in just three days? We don't just have another catastrophic level monster here. This is legendary stuff. I myself do not want to believe this is true. How does the legend say the dragon was defeated? If we have record of it, that must mean someone survived. A divine emissary with powers to rival the gods is said to have come and finally defeated the beast. But then... Divine emissary. We can't expect to find someone like that here. Not the way things are now. Wait just a second. I think I might know why this dragon has descended in the first place. Thirty years ago, when the sun climbed to the highest height of the summer solstice, the moon eclipsed the sun, and just as the two became one, a ritual was carried out in the capital's grand cathedral. That ritual was meant to take effect thirty years from then, which... I'm sure you're aware, would have been approximately seven days ago this afternoon. The spirit summoning ceremony, yes, I am aware. As you've just indicated, the ceremony was carried out in order to summon a spirit to this world, timed for one week ago to ward off coming calamity. But unfortunately, we have no sign it was successful. Could that ritual have been the thing that drew this dragon back to our world? There should be no reason to believe as such yet. Hey, it's getting dark out there again. What's happening? What was that? Yuji! Yuji! That blue dragon just got a whole lot bigger! And now it's back? What was all that? I had slimes out there monitoring the dragon. The darkened sky is related. It's likely got a link to the dragon's sudden growth. It's even bigger now? It will appear and grow to its fullest strength underneath strangely darkened skies. Now what? What does this mean? You're saying the end of the world's three days away? This is an emergency situation. Our foe may be the stuff of legend, but we cannot sit by and merely await death. At dawn, we hit the dragon with everything we've got. This is so yummy! Especially after a hard day's work. We use so much magic! And fought against some treacherous foes as well! We're hard workers, right, Yuji? Yuji! Tina, Lisa... Finally found you! You're going off to face that blue dragon, right? We are too. We just joined up with the squad they're building. They're paying a bonus for this one, so we're gonna be rich! We'll be totally fine as long as you're there! There's nothing to be afraid of. Not with Yuji and his slimes here. That's the truth! We can always count on you! Well, see you tomorrow then. Nighty night! Apologies for the belated introduction. I am Father Style, from the Grand Cathedral in Central. I'm Yuji, adventurer. What do you need from me? There's something I wish to bestow upon you. Sorry for the wait. Guided by the Divine, I brought this along with me from the capital. It shames me to admit, none of us in the clergy could ascertain the value of this particular relic. However, I've come to believe that you may find it useful. The Dagger of Kethys. It focuses magic effects, huh? Right. I think I understand. Then the dagger you hold is now bestowed upon you. Why me? The Divine have deemed it. <clears throat> Johan, let us both pray now. Once morning comes, the team from Kilia is going to head out there and face off with that dragon. It'll be a battle that takes lots of lives. <gasps> Yuji! What is it?
Can I ask something? When you said the magic I cast was unusually powered, did you mean it was unusually weak? Uh, no! That's not what I meant! I meant it's too strong! Guess I can give it a try. Should have guessed that that 
that put my MP in the red? Running low on HP too. Sorry to have disturbed you so early. I went out for a bit last night. The skies above Kelia have settled again. That's so? And according to Father Style, well, the Blue Dragon of Delight was defeated by a certain specific someone. What would make the priest think that? He says he heard it through the word of God. Where is he now? Gone already. Out beyond the boundaries of the town. Didn't mention where he was headed to. Hey. We are all sworn to protect the town, Yuji. You can rely on the guild, whenever you're in need. All you have to do is come to us and say, I'd like some help fighting a dragon. Remember that. And why are you telling me all this? <laughs> why indeed. Not the 
the best idea to let people see my slimes in action. Yuji! We have an emergency! What's wrong? Dryad's got an urgent message for you! Yuji! Yuji! Come quick! <laughs> nature. 
But if it gets into the wrong hands and is used for evil purpose, it can decimate entire forests. Yuji! <gasps> All finished! It worked! The potion turned blue! So that's all it needed? Yep! <laughs> Thanks, Yuji! Um... Here are a bunch of the sage potions I promised for you. And some mana restoratives as well. Now, I think I'll be heading back to the Dryer Forest. Right. Well, let me know if you ever need anything else. This is quite the fog. My good eye can't see a thing. We should make it to Ricardo if we keep heading this way. Hmm? I'm picking up some human sense. Way out here? Yeah, gotta go take a look. Apologies for their curiosity. Our isolated little village isn't terribly accustomed to travelers such as yourself. Right. I'll be making my way then. Before I go, does this town have a name? This is the village of Macias. Ah! So that place wasn't Ricardo? Nope. Food definitely didn't look yummy to me! No one's getting full on that! The people were quite kind, however. Always smiling and stuff. Wonder what made them so happy. Something was definitely off about the place. Yes, a lone adventurer happened to stumble in upon us, but it was merely a tamer, so I doubt we need worry. Yes, our arrangements are in place. Tomorrow we will go out from here and extract the Dragon's Grace from Delight Canyon. You needn't worry about a thing. And now, the time has come for us to cleanse this tainted world. We should be almost right on top of Ricardo once we get over this hill. The wait is up! Wonder what sort of yummy meats they have? Maybe we can find a nice grassy place to rest and relax! Sounds like heaven to me! <laughs> I think I've got eyes on it! <laughs> Someplace less chilly, to be honest. We're all fine back here. You look pretty cold, though. No kidding. I've got. 
gotta have something that can keep us warm. Insulation barrier. Oh, that looks mighty warm. Perfect. This should be enough to keep me in working order. This magic stuff never ceases to impress. Well, I'll be. We don't get many tamers out here. Sure are dressed light for walking in this bitter cold. Can you tell me what's going on around here? <laughs> this chill set in out of nowhere about ten days back. It's claimed more than a few of our own. So what's your story? What brings you out this way? I heard good things about... <laughs> if you heard good, then you heard right. Weren't we supposed to eat first? Which trees make good firewood? Who knows? Beats me! Couldn't tell ya! Couldn't even offer you a guess! Guess we might as well just cut a bunch down. What magic will do the trick here? Summon axe. Wow! Something about this feels wrong. But so be it. You never know. Until you try. I don't know if that was the axe or the combat arts doing the work, but these magical skills sure do come in handy. Look at all this! Like a work of art! And now I need to try it out. Can you guys use slime moisture absorb or not? App what? Never heard of it. Might it involve drinking? Does it taste good? Guess it's worth a shot. <laughs> slime moisture absorb. Lighter, that's for sure. Okay, pack all this up for me, please. Can you guys fit it all in there? Of course we can! It's so light and completely dry, too. Where in the world did you find this? Can you use that to cook? I'll go call the chef. Mm. It's too dry. Fully dehydrated wood burns too strong. Burns everything. Can't cook anything good with wood like that. Moisturize. I don't know how you made this firewood, but will this work? Like I told you, kid, this is no good for... <clears throat> Where is this from? This is perfect wood! Hefty but dry! I have never seen a piece so perfectly dried in all of my life. It's as if it exists solely for use in the kitchen. Now get in the kitchen and light the stoves. Uh, right. I'm on it, Chef. The perfect flame. Where did you get this? My slime here made it for us. I don't understand. But with firewood like this, I can fix something real special. Something real special, huh? How much wood did you bring me? to make this all like that last piece. You got it! Coming right up! We got this! I would never have imagined slime were capable of doing all this. If that's not enough, I can go back out and cut a few more. <laughs> all right, we need to get you fed. I'll whip you up some of my finest work. for the weight. That's a grilled Angus cattle steak with Risha herbs. Steak and veggies. It smells fantastic. <laughs> this flavor, the deliciously grilled beef hits first, swiftly followed by the sweet yet tart sauce made from the vegetables, mixing with juices from the steak, combining in a burst of flavor I have never felt before. There's no doubt in my mind. This is the greatest work of culinary art I've tasted since I woke up in this world. Well, 
Thank you for that. It was incredible. <laughs> I could eat this for days on end. The restaurant's best dish is actually a stew, but it takes a while to make, so I cooked that instead. Stew, you say? I'll have to come back and try it tomorrow. But you know, we shouldn't be using all this firewood just to cook. The whole town is running low on the wood they need to heat their homes. All you need is more firewood then, right? Well, yes, but you don't... I'll be back tomorrow. <sighs> Not that I have any idea whatsoever how much firewood a town needs. All anyone's looking for is firewood. Hi, I'd like this job. That's excellent, thank you. Is this going to be your first firewood cultivation request? Yeah. The guild requires all firewood deliveries to be cut to a standard size and shape. Since this is your first job for us, you should start by heading out to the Eastern Gate and finding our firewood leader, Wobka, for further instructions on the specifics of the job. So you're an adventurer, are you? Well, you're a pair of hands, at least. The town can never have too much wood. It needs five tons a day to function properly. But we can't keep up with demand. Seems the situation is pretty dire. None of us were ready for a frost like this. Some nearby villages that weren't hit by it have offered help, but it's far from enough. Has the village of Messias helped? That place? It's deserted. Been abandoned out there for a good long while now, too. Far as I know, there's no one there to help. So, who did I meet? Anyway, have you ever cut any firewood before? Technically speaking, I suppose. Just once today, though. All right, well, show me what you can do. We'll take a look at what you've got and go from there. No offense, but you don't look all that strong, so try not to overdo it. into sections and cut them down the middle, right? Uh, yeah. Does a uh, length of 40 centimeters sound good? Yeah. With two cuts down the middle? Yeah. And four cuts for bigger logs? Yeah. All set then. Will this get the job done? Yeah. I've got more than a few questions, but with firewood this perfect, what I don't have are complaints. Okay, thanks. I'll get my slime started then, trying out all this new wood. What? There's so much wood. You mean there's still more? I honestly have no clue. 
Tell me, how much wood do we have left? Another batch about this big! <sighs> That's still only three days' worth, though. You still have some open firewood jobs, right? We do, but this is a lot of really strenuous work, isn't it? Shouldn't you rest now? Oh, they're worried after just this. Guess this world really does care about its people more than home. <laughs>
So this frost is because of this stone, then? Do these things ever just appear naturally? No. Somebody had to have made this. I still feel a trace of human magic that isn't yours. I'm going to try and purify it. We can find whoever's behind it later. Anti-magic barrier. Dispels curse extreme. Wow! Okay, Slimes. Spread out and see if you can find any more of these stones. Photography. That's a total of 108 purified magic stone ores. And they're spread out inside a perfect circle. I have a feeling we're gonna find something big at the center of it. Which would be... Right about here. Report slimes. Have any of you picked up on anything? Uh, seems like a normal forest. Nothing beyond the usual, I'm afraid. They're right. It does look normal, but something about this still feels seriously off. And I don't mean the unnatural clash between all this greenery and heavy snow. It's like there are bigger trees intentionally put here to throw off the balance. Is this all some high-level camouflage? Beauty, what's wrong? Pick up on something? Something is wrong with this forest. Everybody back away from this area now. Proud Wolf, I need you to help me get the slimes out of here. You got it. Okay. Aye, aye. Um, what are you planning to do, Yuji? Destroy this forest. Probably not what you want to hear. <sighs> it's fine. The forest is strong and will be able to grow back to its natural strength over time. But if they use magic stones, then there's no way of telling what might happen to the rest of the ecosystem here. <clears throat> All right. Well, here we go. Let it burn! Hellfire of Divine! in here. Careful 
from here on. Yahoo! <laughs> Wonder what we'll find next. Then it'll be fun! <laughs> we'll be off then! <sighs> Monster stealth. <laughs> Guess I might as well leave it to them. Sure are lots of diverging paths. Yoji! We found the guys from before! And we shan't let them escape! Ah. Can you get in? Leave it to us! What 
should our next move be? We're going to abandon this village the very moment we find our curse. It would appear that this lot is the we only one who takes shelter in the village at this time. Location. Now's our we chance then. Let's location. explore the area a little bit. Slimes. You got it! Quietly pack up all the books and documents for me. Take the entire bookshelf if you want. Sure thing! I found a few documents! And a letter, too! Gyoji, here they come! Faster than I thought. Spell transfer, magical net. When the end comes, we will cleanse this hole! These guys too, huh? What now? If we let them escape, they'll drag some innocent people into this. Plan still on. Okay! Yuji! There's another sealed door! I can't fit! It's closed real tight! That's some security. But wait. Slimes, do you see any levers nearby this one? No, nothing of the sort. This room sure is bright, though. So shiny! There were five of them at the end, so maybe. Slimes, I want each of you to stand before one of the lamps. You got it! Spell transfer, wind slicer. someone who wanted to die in there. Yuji! One of their numbers is headed that way! <gasps> Impossible! <gasps> what do you mean we've lost our treasure and sacred texts? Is it possible we have a thief here? But how did they do it, though? They're starting to catch on. Now what? Do I hit them with the hellfire of demise? Master Javier, we're not picking up any traces of our scout team. What? Not a single one? So it would seem. They're just gone, without leaving the faintest trace behind. Then the explosion that ruined our stones was an attack on us after all. Likely by whoever stole from us as well. But sir, if they're this powerful, then what could they be waiting for? Why haven't they finished us off already? There's only one potential explanation that makes any sense whatsoever. Wait, you think they figured out how it works? How what works? Yes, I believe they know of the cleansing flame. If all of us here meet our fate, it is set to erupt, cleansing this disgusting world with its glorious blaze. And since they held off, our enemy must be aware of its existence. That's good to know. Guess I'm glad I didn't just burn the place down. Well, what do you think our best move is, sir? We're going to strike back. None are present in this place now but us five. And our intruder, that is. Surely you need no other explanation. Retreat time! Group up now! Ah, this is easy! What are we gonna do? Escape! 
escape this. Spell transfer. Barrier sphere. Defense boost. How is this gonna work? This is gonna be rough, but bear with me. Spell transfer. Concussive blast. We have taken to the skies. Good. Anti-physical barrier. Anti-magic barrier. Spell transferring barrier. Can't be sure just how strong this cleansing flame of theirs is going to be. We're back! Hey. All accounted for! Ah! Good. Hey, Yuji! Good morning, Yuji! We're 
having a big celebration to honor the end of winter. You should come join us. Look, the guest of honor is finally here. <laughs> guest of honor? That'd be you. You single-handedly got our firewood reserves filled. If this place freezes again, we're all set. And that makes you the star of our defrosting celebration. Honestly, this feels like a bit too much. But here's to a newly warm Ricardo. Ricardo! So, uh, Yuji, I wanted to come thank you for handling our greedy boar problem. We got stocked up on the very best Rishia herbs this morning. Which means... Yep, this here's the real deal, kid. Angus cattle and Rishia herbs do a master class special treat. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh. It's, it's just so... Is everything all right, Yuji? You passed out! I've never seen a man cry himself unconscious. But have you ever seen a face as happy as that? really good. Oh well, I'd better start looking through these books we got from Messius. still has any text. It's a list of some sort. Looks like these are the names of people the Blue Moon of Salvation was going after. second I do. You'll do no such thing, unless you want to make me truly angry. Now come on, lighten up. I just have an itch for a murder I can commit is all. An itch I'm looking to scratch soon. Whoa! Well, we can't let our guard down until we know exactly what we're dealing with. And if he does turn out to be a legitimate threat, what then? case i'm going to dig out his eyes skin him alive tease him torment him and kill him myself now you've got me even more excited find him yeah i sure did got you now <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to find out! <laughs> oh, 
whole gang might get even stronger once we get there. Yuji, someone's watching us! Yeah, I noticed. I've got my eyes on you, Yuji the Adventurer. Sounds like they've been searching for you for a while! <sighs> Look at this guy, napping without a care in the world. A sitting duck, still against just finishing him now. I am. The guild is starting to show concern over these unusual deaths. Besides, this Yuji is still only a prospective target. That may be technically true, but it'd be easy enough to bump the guy way up the list after we take him out. Do whatever you want. But no, you'll die by my hand if you touch him right now. <sighs> Showtime. We'll be doing this with no offensive magic today. Why? If we make this look too easy, they'll realize what I can do. That's some real sound reasoning indeed! Ugh. How are you gonna fight without fighting, though? Proud Wolf, you know what I am, don't you? Of course! You're the best tamer around! And do you know how tamers typically fight? Well, they usually do it by using their tamed monsters, don't they? So you do understand. Now then, Proud Wolf, go take him down. Wait! You want me to do this? No way! No how! I can't! Ha <laughs> ha 
for a wolf. I think it's trying to look threatening.
did this too well. That kid always have a sword? No. Does that mean he can do weapon summoning magic too? Tim-witted fool! 
These here are easily the strongest customers we've ever had come to this place. Uh-huh. Sure sized us up big with just a look. But as much as it pains me to say, we don't have any armor that would do much of anything for monsters of this level right now. Are they really that strong? Hmm. If you want something that would last, I'd have to forge new armor especially for them. Would you do that? Oh, I most certainly would. There's just one problem to deal with first. up some armor for you, but not with the materials we have on hand. Your friends here are too strong. You sure about that, sir? I mean, it's just a bunch of slimes and a proud wolf. Sure, they don't seem like all that much when you view them as individuals. But when you look at them all together as one with their tamer here. I've never seen stronger monsters than the ones we've got standing in our doorway right now. Is that so? I guess armor's out of the question, then. No. We just need materials strong enough to suit them. <clears throat> this thing here is a lesser fire dragon jewel. It's among the very best stuff you'll ever find on the market. You can also get them out in the wild by defeating lesser fire dragons. Makes sense. The better the materials are, the better the armor. But what I'm trying to tell you is that even if I use these, the armor would hardly hold up under the strength of those monsters of yours. So I'd need to get something stronger for you to use then. Exactly. There's a special breed of these dragons known as the Blue Lesser Fire Dragons. Get a jewel from one of those and it might hold up. Blue Lesser Fire Dragons, you say? And I'd find some up there? That mountain is crawling with Lesser Fire Dragons. They're rare, but every now and again there's a blue one up there among them. That's true. They're here, but it really isn't going to be easy for you to find one, though. It won't be easy for you to find one, and it won't be easy for you to take it down. When one of our veteran Lesser Fire Dragon hunting groups goes down out there, we can almost always trace the whole thing back to a blue. All right, then. Sounds like a challenge. I'm not saying you won't have your work cut out for you, but if you can go get me a jewel from a blue, then I can fix up something real special for one of your monsters. I'll get one. <laughs> Tell me, though, if there are lesser fire dragons, does that mean there are normal fire dragons, too? Well, obviously they exist. Yeah, but I have never heard of anyone actually taking a full fire dragon down. That's unfortunate. I guess I'll just have to settle for that blue lesser variety. Well, I'm here, not holding my breath. I'd like to take on these requests. Uh, you really want to try for all of these? If I'm going to look into these monsters, I might as well take on requests for them. Looking to take down lesser fire dragons, are you? I feel like this is a bit much. I'll be fine. I'll use magic or something. Huh? But magic doesn't work against lesser fire dragons, though. Mm -hmm. Lesser fire dragons are naturally graced with very strong magical protection by their jewels. Their tough scales make them resilient against ordinary attacks, too. They sound like a real pain. How do people defeat them? Using water more often than not. Lesser fire dragons are so weak to water that a few dozen leaders can take one down. However, carrying enough water all the way up the mountain is not a particularly simple feat. Why not just use water magic? To conjure up all that water? One would have to have incredible magic reserves. There's nobody with magic like that. Water magic's my specialty. Uh, well, well, even if you could, you'd have to cross over the river to get to the mountain before you could even try doing anything. What river? A river that is home to this fish, a vicious man-eater, known in town as the Piranha. If this thing gets its teeth into you, it'll drag you under, straight to the very bottom of the river. I'll take that request, too. Do you even understand these words I'm speaking? Wow! That's 
some mountain! Clearly still an active volcano. But is it safe? Are we in danger of getting caught if we close in? <laughs> Didn't quite believe that. 
Maybe these things need to stay superheated to survive.
I take it you want something for Proud Wolf there? Yeah, and I was also thinking... Wah! I've got one more. So can you also make something for a slime, too? You didn't get one Blue Lesser Fire Dragon Jewel. You got two? And if you need any regular Lesser Fire Dragon Jewels for other things... Ah! Is this whole pile Lesser Dragon Jewels? Each and every one of ridiculous quality. When you say they're ridiculous, you mean ridiculously low or... Ridiculously high! Really? Each one of them is crystal clear without a blemish anywhere in sight. I can definitely fix you up with some real fine pieces using these. Consider the request made. All right, let's get straight to work, boy. You get that forge piping hot. Yes, sir! Can't wait to see what they make. That there's my finest work yet. Though so half of that's thanks to the quality of those jewels you brought in. Well, that's a good thing to hear. Go on and put them through some tests. <laughs> I've never felt so light before! This is crazy! Doesn't look like he's struggling at all, but he's way faster than usual. Look at this speed! our new form of travel, this is good news. And now it's your turn to show off. is fast yep not too shabby again much faster than usual so you think that armor you made can stand a little bit of a magic boost putting it through an endurance test i say give it a go stamina buff mobility boost defense boost <laughs> like it's in one piece. Seems to me you're all set. Thank you. This was definitely worth the wait. Hang on. You've still got more things to test out, right? I don't imagine you all just run around whenever you get in a fight. This guy's actually pretty sharp. Hey, Slime, come on back this way. Coming! Spell transfer. Range frost, medium! magic than that? On occasion. Would doing so break it? Certainly a possibility. But this is the absolute best I can make with the materials you brought me. Uh, meaning you could probably do more with something better? Hmm. To even think about trying to make anything stronger than what I'm holding in my hands. A fire dragon. I could do more with an actual fire dragon jewel, but no one's going to stand much of a chance defeating one of those. Why not? One look should show you why. That thing lives deep in the volcano's lava, but will occasionally poke its head out. And that's the only thing it ever does? Poke its head out? Yep, that's right. It peeks out from time to time, but it never does anything more than that. So long as no idiot goes up the volcano pouring water on the thing. So the fire dragon's weak to water too, then. What would it do to the volcano if it came out of the lava, though? Would it destroy the town, I wonder? <sighs> Yuji! They're all going totally mad up here! Another plan is now in the works. Slimes, proud wolf. <laughs> Head to the volcano. And see if we spot anyone who looks out of place. But what for, though? I've got a bad feeling about this.
So that thing's our target then. Gonna have some real fun today. Hmm. Sounds like they're going up there to fight the fire dragon. Hey, uh, just hypothetically speaking, if we get there and see we can't actually pull this off, what do we do? Don't worry about it. The guys from Ordarion said this whole thing should go off without a hitch. Oh yeah? I guess that's good news. Ordarion? Must be some other city. What are they carrying in those barrels? Spell transfer. Magical net. That settles that. These two are no amateurs. A magic net, huh? Maybe it's a monster trap. Sure seemed a bit too well timed to be random. There might be some spellcasters still hanging around this spot. Or maybe not. I'm telling you, it was just a leftover trap. Let's go. We'll try from behind next. Spell transfer? Magical net! <laughs> So they didn't actually let their guard down. They're good, but I figured as much. Spell transfer, magical deck. Now that was a point of surprise. What the hell is this thing? I can't move an inch. You better come out, whoever you are. Where did all these slimes come from? It's that chamber. But I thought they said they decided to drop him off the list. Looks like this is it. In the end, we will cleanse this tainted world. Slimes, take a good look at those barrels. You got it! Coming right up! Huh! Oh. Hey! What's with these things? I must say, they seem quite perturbing. Mm. Well, that's not good. Like those cursed stones we found? Actually, yeah! Now that you mention it! Better ask a professional. Let's go! Oops. 
just never wake the dragon. It always sleeps right through the rain without even really making a sound. Always, save for just one time. Yuji, we've got some bad news!
It's too dangerous to draw out this fight any longer. Proud Wolf, fall back to the second river. Sure thing, Yuji. You got it. sure stirred this place up some. Can't complain much now that the town is safe again, though. Yeah. So, what brings you back here? Recently, I got my hands on something of a rare jewel. Wow. Oh. Whoa! That thing's huge! Wait a minute. Did you... This is just a very big lesser fire dragon jewel. You're kidding, right? Use your brain! Of course it isn't, boy! You can't get something like that out of a lesser. Only from a... 
Sure, it's just a big lesser fire dragon jewel. Mm -hmm. You'll be wanting me to make up some armor for you, right? Well, if you could. I sure can. I'll make you something that you're gonna love. Can I ask you a question? Have you ever heard of a town called Ordarian before? Of course. But it's not a favorite spot among adventurers. Why is that? It's a peculiar place. That's probably the best description. It values privacy and doesn't really like to be bothered by any other regions or towns. <clears throat> Would you mind if I asked you another question? <laughs> you have any idea what this thing is? Where did you get that? Found it up on the volcano. That's odd, because you've got one of the guild's artificial rain machines. Artificial rain? You mean this thing can make the weather change? That's right. We use them during times of drought. Almost every town's guild is going to have one of these. The guild? Hold on. The name of the guild this machine belongs to is missing. I wonder where this came from. The guys from Ordarion said this whole thing should go off without a hitch. Ordarion? The guild? Who set this up? Not to sing my own praise, but that's legendary level armor you're holding in your hands there. Well, it looks great. Why don't we see what this thing can do? Mm-hmm. You better not. Wouldn't be safe right here. That makes sense. I'll try to be careful with it then. Hey, hold on! You still don't plan on telling me what your name is? I keep a low profile. Is that right? Well, okay. You be careful out there on the road. Thanks. <sighs> so, any idea what that was all about? Nope! Now get back to work! Move it! <laughs> Demise fall upon this tainted world. May the light engulf the world in flames, and the shadow of the moon finally pull all into darkness. Divine powers that be, lend to me your infinite strength. <laughs> is heard. <laughs> With death is always an ever-born the sage. Salvation's cover when we do it, these years of careful scheming will be for nothing. 
Why do you think we went so far as to get our hands on an artificial rain machine? But that plan didn't really work out, though, did it? Sure, it rained a little bit, but someone there took down the fire dragon before it made it to the town. Well, I say we should inform Master Walter before we make any serious moves. Master Walter?
person who wields the dagger of Kethis has been sent here by the Divine. I ask you prepare yourself. May the grace of the Divine always watch over you. That man was really the emissary? Johan. It's just, why didn't you tell him the whole revelation if you think it's true? There was more to it than you said. I told him what I did to protect him. For if he were to know the full truth, I believe that he would surely turn his back to the Divine Word. <sighs> Master Walter, our lookout relayed that Style met with the man who may be the emissary. He was seen today in Ordarian. The Tamer, is it? I trust we're ready? Yes, sir. All of our arrangements are in place. Be gone, then. Yes, sir. Great Divine, speak to me. Chaos soon shall rise anew, the masses led astray by a tainted light. Guide the emissary to their fate, and grace shall belong to you once again. <laughs> then by the death of you who offers guidance shall the sage arise. to be. 
be in this vicinity. They weren't over here. Or here. Where did they go? I know I said they could bring along help, but isn't this a bit much? I saw a man with white hair. He went into this really dark place. What sort of dark place? I know that place. It's super scary. No one can get inside. Even if you did, you'd never get out. Sounds like a bad sort of spot. Show me the way. Some time has it in style. Yes, Walter. I assume the holy word has led you to us. By the death of you who offers guidance, shall the sage arise. I come here knowing just what that means for me. But this time, I will at last do what has been asked of me. Turning my back on my responsibilities has cost the lives of all those I held dear once. I will not make that same mistake again. Let us grant you what you come ready to receive then.
They turned out to be far more powerful than we could have ever possibly imagined. The monsters we created to kill them were absolutely no match whatsoever. And just when we were struggling to identify them, the moon turned blue and an ancient dragon descended upon us from the sky. I'm certain I don't need to tell you what unfolded next. Isn't that right, Johan? Yes, sir. Father Style bestowed upon the emissary the sacred dagger of Kethys. After hearing the Divine's words, he took the dagger away from the capital. We can be certain that the emissary used the dagger's powers to defeat the ancient beast. From that night on, the two of us have remained in hiding. I imagine he was worried that we would expose the Emissary's identity to the Blue Moon of Salvation if we remained in contact with him. But even still, the Emissary pursued the cause on his own and fought off the henchmen we sent after him. And then, when our next plan sought to use the Dragon's Grace to harness the power of the great, slumbering Fire Dragon for our own ends, the Dragon was defeated and our plans foiled once again. It's all true. The Emissary is more powerful than I ever imagined. He has saved us from certain peril time and again. But all of that ends right here, because our little operation has graduated to its next level. By the new word of our Divine, we will finally achieve the world we've all strived for these many years. It is done. Watch and despair, Style. Your efforts are naught but smoke in the wind. This tainted world will look on helplessly as you perish here. Then the Great Divine will stand on our side. My life was meant to be given up for the Emissary. I fear not the end which approaches for me. I offer my life for all our companions who fell by your wickedness. Should I die tonight, the Emissary shall appear and see that each of your schemes are all brought to their end. Hmm. If you truly wish to die before knowing the truth, far be it from me to deny you. What's this? Each and every one of my loyal followers have been cursed from the very beginning. So this is the Tainted Light. How wicked can you be to do this? To curse your very own people? Style, old friend. How I have longed to see that face. A face full of hatred and abject disgrace. It pleases me greatly to see you now at your very end. Is this... 
Yes, you see here the thing which grants me my power. Master Walter. <laughs>
Bring up. Spell transfer. Fireball. Well, 
then, what is a sage? When our old legends speak of the sage, they usually give this story. Long, long ago, an emissary of the divine rose to face a mighty dragon. But overwhelmed by its power, the emissary met an untimely death. And you think he's that emissary? It would seem that Walter worked very hard to resurrect this man, sacrificing his own life and those of his followers in order to perform something akin to a spirit summoning ceremony. A spirit summoning ceremony? That's meant to summon the divine, right? Does that make this guy some kind of god? That thing before you is not the god that we worship. He is nothing of the sort.
Something's got them all frenzied. Everyone fall back to Fasten now! Roger! <laughs> Make sure 
sure you come back in one piece to return it. That's the very best stuff. Every piece is made with lesser fire dragon jewels. Ah, these monsters here are little nothings compared to that fire dragon. They stand no chance against my wares. Everyone's up and ready. This is amazing! Now I get it. I always worked alone, never asking for help. At some point, that became my new normal. But maybe teamwork isn't so bad. Uh -huh. Spell transfer! Attack boost! Anti-magic boost! Defense boost! Divine Strike! That actually 
seems to work. Divine Strike! Divine Strike! Divine Strike! Divine Strike! Divine Strike! Divine Judgment again and again. Even a direct hit won't do it, huh? If that's the case, let's try something else. Get it, everyone! 
There's plenty here for seconds. Spring is upon us once more. The armor we make is the best there is. Or ever been. <laughs> That's right. a good day. Sure is. We've lost contact. There has been no new update from Walter all day. How could that be? You think that explosion earlier today? I don't know. But the updates I've been getting say that the summoning ceremony went south and him and all of his men were lost. Well, we should inform headquarters. No. There's no need to trouble headquarters with such trivial matters as these. Hmm? The fact is that as things stand, time has all but run out for this continent. The purifier is nearly complete. We are on track. Once it's done, the entire continent will be wiped clean. Not a soul will survive. I suppose that's true. So the time has come? It's been a long wait. Yes, our lives are now approaching their end, but we serve a higher purpose than ourselves through the Blue Moon of Salvation. We do this to defeat the Black Dragon of Ruin. Only the faithful can defeat such a monster, and it will be our hands which do. The time to take action is now upon us. Let us pray together that we shall be the ones to cleanse this tainted world. In the end, we shall cleanse this tainted world. A purifier and the Black Dragon of Ruin, huh? These folks never stop causing trouble. Yuji! We've got a monster! Hmm? Monster attack? 